Hi there, I'm Duncan from Six Five, and today I'm going to show you what happens when someone leaves your organization and how you gain access to their account in G Suite. Now, you must be an administrator or a super administrator to be able to do this. In other words, you've got to have uh, manager permissions to be able to deal with this user and disable their two-factor authentication, for example, in order to be able to get into the account. Okay. So the first thing to do is obviously go in and change their password. Very straightforward to do. Uh, enter Google admin.google.com, go to users, find the user that you need to change the password for, and just click reset password. Then you can set your own, uh, or you can get it uh, to generate you a new one. And then when you sign in, you get a new password. Okay, so that's the first thing to do. And obviously, you can copy that password and then just go log in as that user. Now, when you log in, I would suggest that you use a incognito window so that it doesn't interfere with your own Google account. And uh, certainly in Chrome, the way that you do that is you go File and New Incognito. And then just go to gmail.com and log in. Now, you might find that uh, Google will stop you logging into that account. Now, that could be because two step authentication is activated. Um, but it's also because you're probably in a different location and your, your pattern of behavior is going to be different to that of the user that was using the account before. So the easiest way to get around that is to come in onto the security tab for that particular user. If you scroll down to the login challenge section, just click that and then hit turn off for 10 minutes. Now what that means is that it will ignore all of its usual checks about suspicious activity and it will let you log in to the account with just the password. It will not ask you for a recovery phone number or anything like that. Uh, once you have logged in, go to myaccount.google.com and then you can change some of those other bits and pieces uh, like the recovery phone number, perhaps to your own if required. Uh, again, you must be a super admin in order to be able to do this uh, under admin.google.com. 